bless your name, I lift you high. Because you are the source of all knowledge. You are the giver of understanding. And you are the one that always baptizes one with wisdom. Be thy exalted Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. I lift you high, O oh Lord, for this revelation and knowledge. Father, I pray that your grace will be sufficient for as men that are watching this clip regularly, for their home to be like paradise, their area to be like the land of Goshen, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I decree the life as men that are watching these video clips every week, that the Lord God will grant unto you lifetime happiness. You will not have any so cause to be sorrowful in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, wonderful God. Blessed be your name forever. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to continue in our series, Animalistic Nature in Marriage. And we are in the subtopic whereby we read that book of First Samuel and said the cause of animalistic nature at times may be if a man or a woman become another person. That is to say, the man you marry, when you get into marriage, you'll be saying with some exclamation that this is not the man I marry. This is not the woman I marry. Something has happened that has made that man, that has made that woman to become another person you know we read in the book of first samuel where the spirit of the lord god came upon samuel and he became another man uh, uh upon so rather he became another man he was prophesying and we read the other one that evil spirit came upon the same soul and he became another man that he want to commit murder I want to go further today to talk about the causes of becoming another person one of the cause of becoming another person is through contact. Through contact. In the book of Luke, chapter 1, from verse 39, there's a story of Mary. After Gabriel came to her to deliver the message from God, the Bible says he went to the land of Judah and he went to a place, the family of Zachariah. And when she entered that house, as soon as she salutes Elizabeth, the Bible confirmed that the baby inside the womb of Elizabeth leaped for joy. And the Bible now says that Elizabeth was full of the Holy Spirit. By mere contact, Elizabeth catch the spirit of holiness. Holy Spirit defined came into her. The same way, if somebody is possessed with evil spirit, when you get in contact with such a person, the evil spirit in that person can be transferred into your life. And when evil spirit is transferred into anybody's life, that person becomes another person. Evil spirit, they are so powerful to the extent that they can remote control the life of anyone like an animal. And when we are talking about this contact, there is no way you will not have contact with other people. When you go out, you board public buses, you meet a lot of people there. When you go to party, when you are in the market, when you even come to church, you meet a lot of people there. By mere contact, if you don't have the fire of the Holy Ghost in your body, soul, and spirit, they can transfer evil spirits into your life. Another cause of uh, being coming another person is through what is referred to as foundation. In the book of Psalm 11:3, the Bible says, "If the foundation being destroyed, what can a righteous man do?" You know, as a pastor, at time, if some people bring some marital case to us, we may open our mouth by the leading of the Holy Spirit and say, "Brother, you are the one responsible for the misdeed." misbehavior misconduct of your wife and the brother may ask why the brother may say i am satisfying her in all ways we now tell the brother okay how many wife did your father marry if the brother say like seven okay 
we not tell the same brother that the same spirit of polygamy is the one afflicting your wife, making her to misbehave, so that you will have some reason by yourself to marry another woman. The same thing goes with any woman that has some faulty foundation. I remember a case of a sister. You know, she did not want to follow the pattern of the marriage of her parents. She now looked very well. She married a rich man that has a good job. But immediately they marry, the man just resigned from his job. And I begin to do domestic work in the house. And the man now told that sister one day and said, you are the one that will be giving me salary. I'll be taking care of the house. That woman brought the husband to us in the church. And we asked the man the question, is it true that you ask your wife to be paying you salary? The man said, yes, I am doing work in the house. And all those things, we know that something is wrong. We now begin to question the sister personally, that your father and your mother, is your father too working? The sister said, no. It is the mother that always feed the father. It is the mother that always pay the school fees, the house rent, and all those things. So the foundation of that sister catch up with her. And that is why the man misbehave, resign from her job, and now begin to demand salary. So foundation can lead a man or a woman to become another person. Another cause of becoming another person is through sexual intercourse. You know, we always emphasize on this. The Bible says all other sin are outside, but the sin of immorality is the one that is inside. But we are talking about immorality, especially sexual intercourse. It's an exchange of blood. It's entering into blood covenant with that person. If a man or a woman commit immorality outside, and the same man or woman have sexual intercourse with the wife, the wife or the husband may become another person by the evil program from the strange man or the strange woman, and that will affect either of them. They will become another person. Another cause of becoming another person is what is called location. In every location, in every city, every town, every village, every hut, every country of the world, there are powers in charge of those places. There are spirits ruling in those places. And that is why the Bible says unto us, in that book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, the Bible says, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but we are wrestling against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in the high places, against rulers of darkness. You understand? There are rulers of darkness in different places. You know, somebody may be living, like let's take Nigeria for example, in Lagos. Somebody may be living in Victoria Island. He or she may be behaving very well because it's in the midst of the corporate people. The same person may relocate to Mushi. You know, in Mushi we have a lot of miscraft. The person may be carried away with the spirit of miscreant and become another person. Look at it very well. A lot of Nigeria, they will travel to somewhere like America, like UK. They behave themselves, they obey the law. But when they come to Nigeria, they can drive one way because they know that they can bribe the police there, they misbehave. It is not their fault. It is the spirit and the power governing each locality. And that spirit and power may make a person to become another person. Lastly, let me just say, what can make a man or a woman to become another person? If you exhibit pride against the Almighty, you take yourself as all in all, you take yourself as the one that has achieved more, you know? And that is what happened to Nebuchadnezzar. In the book of Daniel chapter four, from verse 28, he came to his corridor and he looked at Babylon. He said to himself, is it not the city that is built with its own power, with its own mind, might. And the Bible says, a voice came from heaven and said, because you did not recognize that the Lord God Almighty ruled in the affairs of men, you become animal for seven seasons. And what happened? He became animal just like that. So which means a man or a woman can become animal as husband and wife, he become another person. By the grace of God, we 
continue. But before we continue, let me just say this one too, so that we understand this very well. What can make a man or a woman to become another person is what is called indoctrination. There are many doctrines in many churches that are not biblical. I remember a brother, he doesn't like to sleep with the wife. Why? He said they always teach them in their church that when you get closer to a woman, you will lose your spiritual power. He doesn't like to even come closer to the cloth of the wife. You understand? Indoctrination can make one to become another person. When you are indoctrinated, what will happen is that your reasoning has stolen already. And when your reasoning has stolen, you know, your virtue has disappeared. Your value is no more. You just discover that you begin to behave like another person. The Lord God Almighty will help all of us and our marriage will never scatter. In the name of Jesus. Next week we shall continue from this. In the name of Jesus. God bless you.